Please welcome five of the film's larger than life stars. We have Chris Gibbs, Daniel Bacon, Paul Moniz Desaad, Jonathan Holmes, and Michael David Adam Thwaite. Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> Guys, you're so big and scary in that movie. First yeah. of all, how does one land this audition? What does one oh, do? Well, <laughs> hmm. well I actually, who wants to start? <laughs> uh, I think I was the only one that uh, wasn't actually originally um, submitted for it. I happened to just be in auditioning for something else. And uh, the casting director came up and went, you'd be great for this. Can you, are you available on Wednesday? And I went, yes. Uh, I had no idea what I was auditioning for, to be completely honest with you, and, really? until I got the sides and went, oh, yeah, OK. So were you all familiar with the original story mm -hmm. from Roald Dahl? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So when you get cast for something like this and you show up on set, Steven Spielberg is there. Try yes. not to pee. That's uh, right? the only rule. What yeah. is it like being directed under the greatness that is Spielberg? So magical. I just have to yeah. pretend he was someone else. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> too big. Otherwise, it's too much. <laughs> well, it's, it's 30 plus years of like imagery and yeah. film and just like the man is uh, beyond legend. So to work with him in that capacity was absolutely incredible. Yeah. And to create this world, I mean, in the trailer and in that clip alone, only he could do that. Like, yeah. it, it's unbelievable to put this thing into cinematography. How did you guys film your parts as these huge giants? Was it, what, what do they call it, cast animation? Uh, motion, performance. motion capture? capture. Yeah, performance So what is capture. that? Is that like? Um, we well, have to rely a lot on what Stephen would explain to us would be happening because we're in a big, large volume, which is like a big, sort of big screen room. Like a green uh, like screen. Like a green screen room. Mm -hmm. And so there would be taped out um, things on the floor, but there's going to be a wall here or yeah, a tree paths here, we paths follow. that we could follow. And then he he explained to us what would we be we'd be seeing in any given spot. So you have to use your imagination a lot and trust a lot. So is it you actually lumbering and moving yeah, as a giant? Yeah, it's all and the how movement, do do it's all the facial capture and the voice uh, r record all at the same time. And then of course, beautifully constructed. And I've been told it's billions of lines of code and just the artistry is so next level. But it's all our faces. It's all our uh, all our speech and all our movement pattern. Have you seen the film? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is it like when you see yourself in that form and you can actually identify? Yeah, that is how my face moves. What what did that feel like? Like smiling for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And who would you say this is geared towards? Because you know it is um, some scary matter, which is what the mm. book is. It's a little bit of darkness and a lot of light. Yeah. So who would you say it's best suited for? Obviously, adults are going to love it, but in terms of you know the age of kids. Well, my son's really excited. My son's eight years old. Yeah. Uh, he's really excited to yeah. see it. I have kids from one through ten, and I know they're all excited yeah. to see yeah. it. I have a ten-year-old, and, and I, it, it, it's... Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if this is an actual age that you would say this is suitable. But I mean, well, it's like, when is, when is it? old, it might be, yeah, it might, uh, yeah. a, little it might be a bit above. Yeah. yeah. That would be but when is appropriate <laughs> time for exactly. adventure? You I mean, know, there, 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 you know, there is a little bit of darkness, mm -hmm. but, but I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful light. Um, upbeat, wonderful stories. So, so it's not, you know, super scary in that yeah. sense. But yeah, there, I mean, it's Roald Dahl, so there is that, you know, that that sort of slightly it's, it's light darkness. darkness. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is. It's, it is. It's, it's very poetic too. It's very yeah, magical. Very, very poetic. The narrative. Yeah. yeah, the narrative is beautiful. The imagery, the lighting, um, all the different little elements they have in it are great. Yeah, so. I would say. Yeah, the story. That's what the story is about. That there is darkness, but but in the end result, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not giving anything away. Mm -hmm. It's you can come back to the light, and that's really yeah. what it's about. With a lovely life lesson. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from Spielberg after spending months shooting this in Vancouver under his eye? Professionalism, like it was, oh, yeah. like you just as soon as you got there, you realized that just you know they're at the top of their game, but they're at the top of the game because they're so professional. Mm -hmm. I mean, he ended up knowing all of our names like right out of the gate, and yeah. you know refer to us. And so you're like, I know that seems trivial, but it's like you know a lot of times that's not the case. And he was so sharp and just knew every little detail from top to bottom about everything about the film. So. Super bright. We're looking forward to this. It's sure to be the next big hit. You guys yeah. immortalized forever in a Disney film with yeah. Spielberg. Yeah. Like, best gig yeah. ever. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, good one. Yeah. See, now we can picture it already. Yeah. The BFG. Make sure you catch it, guys. Hits theaters this Friday. It's going to be ginormous. Breakfasttelevision.ca for more information. We'll uh, throw things over to Kev right now. Over to you, Kev.